Welcome to another video I'm making. Today I will be showing you my builds for Excalibur and my Arcwing. As requested through the comments of my old Jordis, Jordis Golem assassination mission video. Alright, I will be showing you the build for my Excalibur that I used during that time. Note that there are some changes that made it better. Um, normally for my Excalibur I run with like the regular survivability mods like Vitality, Redirection, and uh, Steel Fiber maxed out. I also use Energy Siphon and Power Drift and Intensify, Streamline, Chromatic Blade which is really good for your Exalted Blade's damage output. I also use Prime Flow and Prime Continuity for increased duration and maximum energy. This is my Soma Prime that I got a while back and I equipped uh, the dual stat mods for both electricity and toxin for corrosive damage. Also have serration maxed out, shred, vital sense, point strike, split chamber, and maligan force. Also vigilante armaments. There is also my Aklex Prime which are which is using Hornet Strike, Convulsion, Target Cracker, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Turret, Strunning Speed, or Stunning Speed, I don't know why I said Strunning, um, Pistol Gambit, and Pistol Pestilence for the corrosive damage against the Grenier. Although you could create different builds for it, like, for example, I could just create one for Toxin, which is super effect, not Toxin, Gas Damage, which is very nice for Corpus enemies since they can bypass their shields like this for example if I had where is it pistol pestilence here the gas damage stunning speed for the status and reload speed uh, also auger pack wait did I have that no I didn't I had target cracker um <laughs> I'm getting confused um where is it where is it? Target Cracker. There it is. And Pistol Gambit. I can't believe I missed that. See, this has a very high damaging output in terms of, of crit damage and status effect. And this is for my... Well, I should show you the Decana Prime, which is what it was used during that video. Um, this, I use Prime Pressure Point and Prime Fever Strike for the extra damage, Volcanic Edge, uh, Organ Shatter, Volcanic Strike, or I mean Voltaic Strike, Blood Rush, Condition Overload, and Vicious Frost. This is like the newest build I made after that one video. This is the one for during that video all th uh, those last couple years. I use like the base status mods including in slash in, including using buzzkill for the extra slash damage because slash is nice also true steel and organ shatter and decisive judgment because I like the stance and it's able to open enemies up to finishers and this is my exalted blade I was using well I can't say I was using this because this was made. This was the changes made due to the sacrifice being released, and I use Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fever Strike, Condition Overload with both with all four stat elemental stat mods for the a uh, for my status to get up to 100%, and also Organ Shatter for increased damage or well, increased critical damage. All right, this is going to be for my. Umbra and my Skijati, which is my favorite weapon so far. <laughs> my Umbra has Steel Charge for the extra melee damage, Power Drift for the extra 15% power strength and knockdown resistance. I also have all these Umbral mods set completed. And if you want to know how to do that, I recommend going to Aragon or running the max level bounties for Cetus for the Endo. Excuse me, because those were big helps to farming up Endo to max them out. Also selling Ayatans to Maru. Also running the index for the credits 
and using a credit booster is nice. I also use Prime Continuity Chromatic Blade for the extra status chance. Once this is maxed out, it increases your status chance for the, for the Exalted Blade by 50%, which is nice. Streamline for extra efficiency. Stretch for extra range for your blind, javelin, and slash dash. Time slow for that energy. Because look at how high that is. 638. And the armor with all these maxed out, 877. Durations at 155%. 130% for efficiency. Range 145%. And strength 181%. And no, once you get once you get your power strength above 180 you get 100% status chance on your exalted blade before I go on to this this is my skiajati my favorite weapon so far sacrificial steel sacrificial pressure both maxed out and using the set for increased melee and crit damage I also have prime fever strike equipped blood rush condition overload voltaic strike volcanic strike Viral and Scourge, which is very good for dealing extra damage due to condition overload because for each uh, proc you get on an enemy for status, you gain 60% damage for your melee attacks and you get 165% critical chance that stacks with each combo multiplier or with the combo multiplier. And this is super effective. And I also did I? Yeah, I made one for um, ra radiation, and did I create a third one? Yeah, I created another one for gas for corpus enemies. And I also love the passive, which turns you invisible. And this is my exalted blade with a 100% status chance. See that right there? That's super effective for increased damage and your condition overload. A mod, if you can get that. Um, either you run Uranus uh, survival mission with uh, with a Necros or a squad of Hydroids, but I just bought this for Clap because I was too lazy. But this is really good. I recommend doing this. I recommend getting this mod for this build. And I also have Prime Fever Strike, Shocking Touch, and Molten Impact. You can just have the regular. You don't need the dual stat mods. Um, I also have Organ Shatter for a 90% increase in critical damage. And I have Volcanic Edge because I want that extra fire damage because when you proc fire damage, it stuns the enemy so you can just stagger them and keep hitting them with the energy waves from Exalted Blade. Alright, enough of that. Here is my Arc Wing build. And my, for my Arc Wing, we have Enhanced Durability, Superior Defenses, Energy Field, Hyper Ion Thrusters, Energy Inversion, Argon Plating, Efficiency Transfer, and Morphic Transformer. For um, my Imperative Vandal, this is what I have. I'm still working on this because I just got this weapon recently. I have Parallax Scope, Zodiac Shred, Ribidor Line, Barrel, Combustion Rounds, Venomous Clip, Hollowed, bo uh, hollowed Bullets, um, quasar drill. I also might equip one of these two or maybe equip a hmm I don't know I just think it's your preference but I'm still working on this. This is my Veritux. I have cutting edge, bleeding edge, tempered blade, meteor crash, glacial edge, astral, astral slash Sudden Slash and Galvanized Blade. I'm still working on this because I haven't for well I formatted it once but I haven't done it in a while. And this is the colors from my Arc Wing. I have blue from the um, Ziv. I don't know how to pronounce that. The blue from this. Some black from here. What I'm using some white. Um, I also have a light blue and a blue energy color which looks very nice with the color scheme um, for my umbra if you want to know how i customize them this is him with the proto armor skin and using the oro king color palette very nice gold and also the umbra mods umbra armor set 
if you want to know what type of gold I use, I use the gold from here, which is nice, because it looks similar like the regular gold he has. And this is him with the deck skin using the Orokin color palette. For the main color, I use this color, not this color, uh, this one right here to be as close as to the original skin, original main color for Umbra. But make it like a dex version, which looks nice. For my regular scale, if you want to know how to customize him, like change his appearance, I use the Proto Armor skin, um, the Noble animation set, attachments, where, well, currently is the Umbra set, but with the Tenocon chest plate, which I really like. And I have the regalia for the Tenocon sigil. And I kind of want to make this... Oh, okay, I did not mean to do that. I kind of wanted to make this dark blue. Let me change that. Yeah, that looks nicer. Dark blue. A Plague Star Emblem and the Stratus Emblem, which is nice. New alert marked on navigation so those are pretty much my builds for what I used and they were improved since then, that last video I made. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to look into my other builds like for my Volt or any other stuff, I'll try my best to help you or, just, or if you just want to see how I customize my Warframes. Just comment down below what you want to see and I'll do my best to, sh to help you guys. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh